If you hate Jesus, then just keep scrolling. But if you love Jesus, then stick around and watch until the end. God is saying to you today, Wait quietly in my presence, while my thoughts form silently in the depths of your being. Do not try to rush this process because hurry and got keeps your heart earthbound. I am the creator of the entire universe, yet I choose to make my humble home in your heart. It is there where you know me most intimately. It is there where I speak to you in holy whispers. Ask my spirit to quiet your mind so that you can hear my still, small voice within you. I am speaking to you continually. Words of life, peace, love. Tune your heart to receive these messages of abundant blessing. Lay your requests before me and wait in expectation. Like this video if you have a believe in God. Today's God message for you, wait patiently with me while I bless you. Don't rush into my presence with time consciousness gnawing at your mind. I dwell in timelessness. I am, I was, I will always be. For you, time is a protection. You're a frail creature who can handle only 24-hour segments of life. Time can also be a tyrant ticking away relentlessly in your mind. Learn to master time or it will be your master. Today's beautiful message for you, I am with you and for you. When you decide on a course of action that is in line with my will, nothing in heaven or on earth can stop you. You may encounter many obstacles as you move toward your goal, but don't be discouraged. Never give up. With my help, you can overcome any obstacle. Do not expect an easy path as you journey hand in hand with me, but do remember that I, your very present helper, am omnipotent. Much, much stress results from your wanting to make things happen before their times have come. One of the main ways I assert my sovereignty is in the timing of events. If you want to stay close to me and do things my way, ask me to show you the path for vent moment by moment. Instead of dashing headlong toward your goal, let me set the pace. Slow down and enjoy the journey in my presence. Type yes if you feel this. Today's message for you, meet me in early morning splendor. I eagerly await you here. In the stillness of this holy time with me, I renew your strength and saturate you with peace. While others turn over for extra sleep or anxiously tune in to the latest news, you commune with the creator of the universe. I have awakened in your heart strong desire to know me. This longing originated in me, though it now burns brightly in you. When you seek my face in response to my love call, both of us are blessed. This is a deep mystery designed more for your enjoyment than for your understanding. I am not a dour God who discourages pleasure. I delight in your enjoyment of everything that is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable. Think on these things, and my light in you will shine brighter day by day. Type, I am ready to shine to affirm. The God is saying, this is the day that I have made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Begin the day with open hands of faith, ready to receive all that I am pouring into this brief portion of your life. Be careful not to complain about anything, even the weather, since I am the author of your circumstances. The best way to handle unwanted situations is to thank me for them. This act of faith frees you from resentment and frees me to work my ways into the situation so that good emerges from it. To find joy in this day, you must live within its boundaries. I knew what I was doing when I divided time into 24-hour segments. I understand human frailty, and I know that you can bear the weight of only one day at a time. Do not worry about tomorrow or get stuck in the past. There is abundant life in my presence today. 
God says, come to me with empty hands and an open heart, ready to receive abundant blessings. I know the depth and breadth of your neediness. Your life path has been difficult, draining you of strength. Come to me for nurture. Let me fill you up with my presence, I in you and you in me. My power flows most freely into weak ones aware of their need for me. Faltering steps of dependence are not lack of fark, they are links to my presence. Type Amen if you believe this. God is saying to you today, every time something thwarts your plans or desires, use that as a reminder to communicate with me. This practice has several benefits. The first is obvious. Talking with me blesses you and strengthens our relationship. Another benefit is that disappointments, instead of dragging you down, are transformed into opportunities for good. This transformation removes the sting from difficult circumstances, making it possible to be joyful in the midst of adversity. Begin by practicing this discipline in all the little disappointments of daily life. It is often these minor setbacks that draw you away from my presence. When you reframe setbacks as opportunities, you find that you gain much more than you have lost. It is only after much training that you can accept major losses in this positive way. But it is possible to attain the perspective of the Apostle Paul, who wrote, Compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus, I consider everything I once treasured to be as insignificant as rubbish. Please subscribe our channel and turn on bell notification for more God messages.